Hi students, today let us learn past tense. Past tense generally denote actions that has already taken place and are over now by using words like usually, generally, always, sometimes, frequently, never and often. The four categories into which past tense is divided is simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Simple past tense expresses a completed action that has no connection with the present. So here, according to the pronouns, whether in singular or in plural, the helping verb that we will be using is was for singular pronouns and were for plural pronouns. And in case we are forming a negative sentence, we use the word not. And in interrogative sentences, we will have to use the helping verb was or were before the pronouns. Here are certain examples that prove the positive, negative and the interrogative sentences. Here Raj met Sia six years ago. Met is in simple past. To make it in negative, we have used the word did not. And to make it into interrogative, we have used the word did before the pronoun Raj. Past Continuous tense. This is used to express an action which was in progress at some point of time in the past, but its limit is not mentioned. So according to the pronouns, the helping verbs that we will be using are was for singular personal pronoun and for were, we will be using the pronouns which is in plural form plus the ing form of verb. Here are certain examples that prove the affirmative, negative and interrogative past continuous tense sentences where we have used the helping verb was and were according to the pronouns. The word not in order to indicate the negative sentences and for interrogative sentences, we have used the helping verb was or were before the pronouns. Past perfect tense. This is used to express an action that is completed before a given past moment. So here, the helping verb that we will be using is had along with the subject plus the past participle form of verb. Here are certain examples that prove the affirmative, negative and the interrogative sentence where in the first sentence we have used the word had in order to show the example. I went after I had completed the task. Whereas in negative along with had we have used the word not. And for interrogative sentence, we have used the word had before the pronoun. Past perfect continuous tense. This expresses an action which began in the past, had continued up to that moment and was still in progress when it was spoken about. So the form of Past perfect continuous tense is subject plus had plus we introduce a new word been plus the ing form of verb. Here are certain examples that prove the affirmative, negative and the interrogative sentence where in the affirmative we have used had plus been plus the ing form of verb. In negative had plus not plus been plus the ing form of verb and in interrogative we have used the word had before the pronoun.
the usage of for and since for is used to point out a period of time which an action has been going on we can understand the sentences where for is used with the usage of the words such as hours minutes seconds days and likewise because it talks about the period of time whereas for the example of since this indicates the starting point of time at which an action started so it will be able we will be able to understand by the usages of words such as time date and month's name in the sentence so it will be easy to use the word since because it will indicate the starting point of time so to sum up let's see the b form that is used in past tense is was for personal pronouns such as i she he and it and for plural pronouns such as they them you there and we we use the helping verb were have form of past tenses had regardless of any kind of pronoun let us sum up the form of tenses again for simple past tense it is subject plus verb in the past tense whereas past continuous tense we have subject plus helping verb was or were plus the ing form of were for past perfect tense the form is had plus the past participle form of were and for past perfect continuous tense the form is had plus been plus the ing form of verb hope it was all clear to all of you thank you children